Inside your memory, inside your heart Don't let that story fade Grab a pen, paper and glue Share your mind, let it free Your world's a work of art And our story's about to start Our story's about to start Creative Kids Story written by I mean, Memon Scarborough, Canada True kindness. Bring went the bell loudly on the very first day of school. The children lined up excitedly, ready to begin a brand new school year. This year, in Sister Rubina's grade 6 class, there were two new students. Hamza had arrived from Pakistan in the summer. Mohammed just moved from Malaysia with his family a few weeks ago. The morning was a very busy one. Sister Rubina went over all the classroom rules and handed out many important papers that the children were to show their parents. Then, Hamza and Mohammed both introduced themselves. Their classmates were very excited to have children in their class that came from such interesting places. Hamza and Muhammad really liked Sister Rubina and were glad that they had such a kind teacher. After the introduction, the recess bell rang and all the children ran outside to play. Hamza and Muhammad stood outside alone together. Two grade 8 students, Azib and Asim, approached them. These boys were the school bullies. Hey, you two are new to this school, right? Yes, replied Hamza and Muhammad. Would you like to be our friends? The two older boys asked. Hamza and Muhammad looked excitedly at one another and nodded their heads. When Azib and Asim saw how eager the younger boys were to be their friends, they too looked at one another and smirked. <laughs> Azib then said, If you want to be our friends, you first have to go and take Maryam's lunch money. Hamza quickly agreed to this because he wanted so badly to make new friends. He knew that what he agreed to do is something horrible. Muhammad on the other hand said, No thank you. I'd rather not be your friend if you are going to ask me to hurt someone. Here, take this instead. With that said, he pulled his own lunch money out of his pocket and handed it over to the grade 8 boys. Hamza, Azib and Asim felt guilty and ashamed by Muhammad's kindness. They realized what a horrible sin they were about to commit. They handed Mohammed back his lunch money and said, We are sorry for our bad intentions. Please forgive us. You have displayed true kindness and made us realize the error of our ways. I am glad that you have changed your mind. And I would like to be your friend if the offer still stands. With no strings attached, stated Mohammed kindly. They agreed and the boys played together all recess long. By the end of the week, the word had spread about Muhammad's kindness and all the children in his class were now his good friends. You can change the whole world with just one little word. So write one down, get it ready to send. What places have you been? What truth have you heard? Our show is done, but your adventures never end. So come on back here again, my friend. Come on back here again, my friend. Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV. <laughs> Mine
Jewish as Nina and I'm a Muslim. Learning together is more fun. Today we'll share with you what we know about Islam. Sharing is caring. Let's learn about Adhan. What is Adhan? Adhan is a call out to let others know that it is time to pray. Adhan means to listen. A muaddam is a person who calls people to play in a sing-song way. Usually there are two calls for prayers. The first one is azan, letting them know it is time for obligatory prayer. The second one is called aqama. It is done to let you know that prayer is starting, so you must form a line. The first call is given so that you can get ready or go to the masjid. The first person who called the Adhan was Bilal ibn Rabah. May Allah be pleased with him. He was Prophet Muhammad wasallam's companion. It is how you say the Adhan. It means Allah is great. I bear witness that there's no God but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. Come to play or come to success, Allah is great. There is no God but Allah. When early Muslims were looking for a way to call the prayer, they were debating whether to use a horn like the Jews or a bell like the Christians. One of the Prophet Muhammad's companions had a dream where he was told the words of Adhan and he was told that the words of Adhan was better. When he told this to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about it, he commanded people to do this as a unique way to call for the prayer. When you visit Muslim countries, the Adhan is the most beautiful and memorable thing that you will experience while you are there. Because the Adhan rings out from the messages across the city at the time of prayer. And now you know. Remember, if you don't know, just ask. Want to know more about Islam? Email us at info at muslimkids.tv. We will make sure to answer your questions. Salam. Salam alaikum. Salam. Subscribe today only on Muslim Kids TV. Being Kind by Dana Cordy, Canada. In Ramadan, it's very important that we show more kindness and love to everyone. More kindness and love for everyone will get you more rewards, especially in Ramadan. One day at the park, I was playing in the monkey bars. All of a sudden, another girl came swinging as fast as she can on the same monkey bars that I was on. I panicked and let go of the bars and fell really hard. It was so painful, and inside of me, I was boiling in anger with the girl that pushed me. 
When we made eye contact, I was about to yell at her. Then I remembered that it was Ramadan. And I remembered that showing more kindness will get me more awards. So I calmly told her, I'm hurt and I feel really mad at you. The girl jumped down to help me. She apologized and showed kindness to me by helping me walk home. When we show kindness, others will be kind to you as well. Treat others how you want to be treated. <laughs> Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the show. This show is about kids exploring and making things for Ramadan to keep us busy. Today, we're going to make banners. I can't wait to make my house more beautiful and get in the mood of Ramadan. Yeah, let's start making them. Come on and craft with us, I say. Keep me busy all day. Runaway rainbows, twisty twirls. For creative boys and girls. Careful cutters, tacky tape. Crafts that grow from our mistakes. Rainbow drops light up the page. Keep me busy all day. Here is what you're going to need. A pencil, some sheets of paper, ribbons, glitter, glue, scissors, tissue paper, and a ruler. I'm going to show you guys a fancier one while Iman makes us a simpler one. So let's get started. You need to take a piece of paper. It can be a decorated paper, a normal piece of paper, or a paper from a magazine. And then you can fold it into a way, the way you want. I folded mine like this. Then you can draw a shape that you want your banner to be. I'm drawing a triangle. What are you drawing? I'm still folding it into the shape. I made a triangle. Now I'm going to cut it out. Now that I cut it out, we, I can decorate it with glitter, glue, ribbons, and tissue paper. I'm going to use glitter first. This one's way better. So now I'm going to make it, since I'm making a more fancy one, I'm going to add a little frill with this yellow tissue paper. So I'm going to take my card and put it upside down. I'm going to uh, make this thing so you guys know how to make it. If you take a piece of tissue paper and you fold it, and then again, and one more time, and then you'll get um, this, like, so it looks like that. So then you can trim the edges to make it the right size of your card banner and then you're going to take your glue open it, and glue the edge just the little edge onto the this tissue paper so that goes glued on here so like that then you turn it over, you turn it over and you take your scissors and cut the edges into tiny, tiny little pieces so you get like a little frill until you're done onto the other side uh -huh. and then keep doing this piece. And then you can like do that a bit so it's you know kind of 
bits. Then, once you finish the frill, you can maybe use some leftover ribbons that you have. I'm going to use this red piece. And you can kind of glue it on. Put some glue on it. I'm going to glue mine at the top. Although you can glue it anywhere you want in every, any direction too. And you you have your card and it, for extra decorations you can find other stuff that you think would look good on there, maybe a few stickers or you could use the glitter as Iman's doing the, put the letters and make more of these. Well that's so cool, how you, I like how you did the frizz. So usually you can, you just throw away the, the leftover ribbon you have from if you'd like a present or something. Yeah, but this time I'll keep it. So you can do something more like this. Yeah. Now, I finished mine. What are you doing, Iman? I'm doing the last step of my banners. Here, would you like me to hold that for you? Sure, thank you. I'll undo that while you do that next part. Keep me, keep me busy. Keep me, keep me, keep me busy. Keep me busy. Oh, keep me, keep me, keep me busy. Keep me busy. Oh, keep me, keep me, keep me busy. Keep me busy. Oh, keep me, keep me, keep me busy. Keep me busy. Oh, keep me, keep me, keep me busy. So here's what it's gonna look like when it's done. It's gonna be all down the edge. Here's one that I already made. Doesn't that look nice? Okay. So remember, you can make these out of almost anything. Just find, you can use um, streamers, you can use different kinds of ribbons. You can even put on some stickers, or you can even find buttons or other things around the house that you could use. Now we're going to review exactly how we did it. Keep me, keep me, keep me busy. Keep me busy. Keep me, keep me, keep me busy. Keep me busy. Oh, keep me, keep me, keep me busy. Keep me busy. Oh, keep me, keep me, keep me busy. Keep me busy. Oh, keep me, keep me, keep me busy. Keep me busy. Oh, keep me. We should celebrate the blessings of Ramadan by decorating our home. Yeah, I would like to make my house pretty by remember by putting these banners up to remember Ramadan. I have a challenge for you. Why don't you ask your, your parents to invite a non-Muslim neighbor or family member over to if iftar? Then you can tell them a bit more about Ramadan. And let's get these banners hanging. Yeah, so see you next time. Assalamu alaikum. Rainbow drops slide up the page. Keep me busy all day. Runaway rainbows, twisty twirl For creative boys and girls Careful cutters, tacky tape Crafts that grow from our mistakes Come back and craft another day Take this knowledge on your way Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV. This Ramadan, I'm going to fast. I'm going to go to the mosque to pray. Oh Allah, please get more money to my mom and my dad. Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV. Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV.
Duaz to relieve stress. لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين. There is no one we should pray to except Allah. Allah is perfect, and I am one of those who did something wrong. Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV. Ramadan is 30 days of fasting, which means that during the day, no food or water until sundown. My name is Rumaisa, and this is my Ramadan story. It is not an issue for me to fast all 30 days, but the hardest part for me is not being able to fully express myself in Ramadan. What I mean is that in Ramadan, it's not only food and water that you hold off, it's also your speech and action. When I need to have a conversation with someone, I have to have my hands and body moving along with my loud voice, all working together because I want to express my thoughts and feelings clearly. But in Ramadan, I have to hold off a bit. I mean my aggressive nature. I have to be a bit calmer. It does not really break my fast, but I also want to get more reward. After all, all actions and good words are multiplied in Ramadan. Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wadduha. Wadduha. Wallayli idha saja. Wallayli idha saja. Ma wadda'aka rabbuka wa ma qala. ما ودعك ربك وما قلا وللآخرة خير لك من الأولى وللآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك عائلا فأغنى ووجدك عائلا فأغنى فأم اليتيم فلا تقهر فأما اليتيم فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV. It is wrong to argue and fight for losing over a game. We are here to have fun. We are not here to fight and call each other bad names. Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV. Welcome to Sum Up Sajid. 
Today we are going to give you a very, very short summary of the longest surah in the Qur'an, Surah Al-Baqarah. Al-Baqarah. It is the second surah inside the Qur'an. It has 286 ayahs and it is called the cow in English. Surah Al-Baqarah is a Medinan surah and the longest chapter in the Qur'an. Al-Baqarah means the cow. This name was taken from the story in the surah when Allah asks Bani Israel to sacrifice a cow. Instead of obeying Allah, the people made many excuses, making simple tasks very difficult. Surah Al-Baqarah talks about the qualities of the believers, disbelievers, and hypocrites. It also talks about the different blessings that Allah has given us. On this note, have you ever tried writing down the blessings Allah has given you every day? Try it. It will remind you how generous Allah is and to always be thankful. In this surah, Allah tells us the stories from the life of Prophet Musa السلام, and his people, Bani Israel. With this story, it reminds us to follow the path that pleases Allah and to stay away from the mistakes made by Bani Israel. Do you know any interesting facts about the Qur'an? Let's hear it. There are six surahs named after the prophets. Can you name them? The Qur'an was revealed over 23 years. 13 years of it in Mecca and 10 years of it in Medina. In the last part of Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah has given us many rules and guidelines about different things like fasting, hajj, charity, and business. Most of the ayah or verses in the surah were revealed in the first two years after hijrah. Through the surah, Allah taught Muslims a lot of things that they needed to know in the new city. We can learn many things from Surah Al-Baqarah. Here are a few of them. The pious people or the muttaqin are very careful about their prayers. We must learn to pray in the correct manner and we should try to pray on time. Allah loves us. Allah loves the muttaqin. Quran is the only book in the world that is perfect. It doesn't have any mistakes. All the teachings in the Quran are full of benefits. So we must read the Quran every day and follow it. Allah gives a lot of rewards to those who are patient. When something bad happens or we lose something, we must be patient and say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajirun. To Allah we belong and unto Him is our return. In this surah, you will find wonderful stories full of lessons and wisdoms, like the story of the yellow cow, the story of a man and his donkey who came alive after being dead for hundreds of years. The story of Adam alayhi salam. The story of Ibrahim alayhi salam and the four birds. The story of Harut and Marut. The story of Talut and Jalut. But before we continue, let's listen to some of my friends on how they were able to memorize the Qur'an. They should keep reading like with their moms or dads so then they can get a little chunk in their brain. I um, always go with the smallest surahs to the biggest surahs so that you can easily memorize them because the smallest ones are the easiest to memorize and the longer ones take a little um, more time. Here are five Arabic words you should know from the surah. Muttaqin means pious, God-fearing. Huda means guidance. Bani Israel means children of Israel. Siam means fasting. Ni'ma means blessing. The most excellent of all verses is mentioned in this chapter, which is known as Ayatul Kurs or the throne verse. Let's recite it together. 
Euzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Allahu la ilahe illa huvel hayyul qayyum. La ta'khuzuhu sinetun ve la nawm. Lehu ma fi's semawati ve ma fi'l ardi. Men dellezi yeşfa'u indehu illa bi'iznih. Ya'lemu ma beyne eydihim ve ma khalfahum. Ve la yuhitûne bi şey'in min ilmihi illa bima şa'a. وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤذه حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم. Anyone want to share anything else? A year ago I started remembering the Quran and it was kind of hard on me because I would just keep on forgetting stuff. And I just have to keep on looking back to read. And my uncle's like, every time you finish a surah, you have to read all of it without looking. And this is me. Well, he said you have to memorize it though. I'm like, I'm so, so nervous. Every time I'm reading, I, I can never read the entire surah without making a mistake. And then when I know, I completely feel like I, I, I know the entire surah, I read it and I'm, it's wrong. I finally memorized the surah after I actually practiced that whole Instead of playing games and throwing water balloons. Camera poster sage. Subscribe today. Only on Muslim Kids TV. Naya came in with crutches. She looked a little glum. Then I remembered the card I made for her. Here, Naya, I hope you like it. She opened it and was surprised. MashaAllah. Thank you so much, Nafisa. You are such a good friend. Subscribe today. Only on Muslim Kids TV. Oh, who can it be? Who? Who is it? Throughout history. Who? Who is it? Can you help me, me, me? Who? Who is it? To figure out this mystery. Who? Who is it? Assalamu alaikum, Mimi. How are you today? Oh, you look so sad. What's wrong? Oh, Mimi has a cold. Yeah, alhamdulillah. We hope you feel better. Do you still want to play? Are you sure? I think Mimi will feel better if we play. Okay, let's play. Ready, Mimi? Okay, let's start the game. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Who can tell me how to play the game again? Yeah, alhamdulillah. I can, I can. Mimi will give us a clues by flipping the circles and then we will figure it out. Who is it? Mimi, Mimi is the best. She likes to help us with this game. She has fun, we have fun. Mimi, Mimi, number one. Go Mimi! And Mimi has a surprise for us if we get it right. Are you ready, Mimi? Mimi, please flip the green circle to give us the first clue. Wait, Mimi! Not, Not that, that one, Mimi! The green circle! Oops! They're right, Mimi. Let's try again. Can you please flip the green circle? Limes and pickles, pickles and limes. Open up, open up, first green clue. Thank you, Mimi! Great job, Mimi! Here's the first clue. He was born blind. Hmm. Can we have another clue? Please? Can you please give us another clue, Mimi? Now you can open the orange circle for us, please. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Mimi, go Mimi! Hooray! But please give us another clue that's a little easier. On the count of three. One, two, Three. It's great to see you feeling a little better, Mimi. Yeah! Here's the second clue. He was one of the first people to believe in Islam. Hmm. Please open 
in the last clue? It's a tricky one. What do you think, Mimi? Can you open the last clue? Yes, please. Can we have the last clue? And inshallah, we can guess who is it. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Mimi, go Mimi. Hooray! She looks like she's feeling a lot better. Are you ready to open the next clue, Mimi? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Go, Mimi, go! Wow, look at Mimi go. Mimi, Mimi is the best. She likes to help us with this game. She has fun, we have fun. Mimi, Mimi, number one. Go, Mimi! Wow, that is so cool, Mimi. <laughs> she sure is feeling a lot better now. Alhamdulillah. Yay! Look, it's slowing down. Do you want to hear the last clue? We do. Inshallah. Surah Abasa is about him and the Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The surah in English is he frowned. Are you sure? You have to be sure. I want a surprise. Yes, please. I think they know who it is. Ready to tell Mimi? Who is it? Yeah! Hooray! We did it! MashaAllah! That is correct. It's Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum. Mimi wants to know the meaning of his name in English. Hmm! Well, Abdullah means servant of Allah. And Ibn means the son of. Umm Maktoum means the mother of the concealed because Abdullah was blind when he was born. Even though he was blind, Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum was always eager to learn about Islam. Surah Abasa is about the story of the time when Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum wanted to speak to the Prophet Muhammad while he was busy talking to the leaders of the Quraysh. Allah reminded Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that it's better to attend to the one who is eager to learn about Allah rather than the people who think they can survive without Allah's help. Can we please see the surprise now, Mimi? Mimi, Mimi, where's the surprise? Mimi, Mimi, where's the surprise? We want to see it. We want to see it. Where is it? Right. Mimi, ready to show them the surprise? Okay, on the count. One, two, three. Wow, that's so beautiful. I love sunflowers. Me too. Oops, I think I know how Mimi got her little sneeze. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a Thank you, Mimi. Thank you for the beautiful surprise. Assalamu alaikum, Mimi. Let's play again tomorrow, Mimi. Inshallah. Subscribe today. Only on Muslim Kids TV. Subscribe today. Only on Muslim Kids TV.